Kyle. I'm Naomi Kyle, and this is IGN News. Ever since Back to the Future Part 2 introduced us to the notion of a board that hovers effortlessly through the air, it's been a desired piece of future tech. Today, a working hoverboard prototype has been revealed, taking another step toward making the fascination a reality. Check it out. It's not the real one. All right. ArxPax, a small California-based tech company, has introduced its take on hoverboard technology with the Hendo. Named after founders Greg and Jill Henderson, the Hendo utilizes a proprietary technology called magnetic field architecture, similar to the core principles that run magnetic levitation trains. The catch is the current design requires specialized metallic surfaces to achieve lift, meaning you won't be able to ride it to school or escape Biff's gang of bullies just yet. The Hendo is also battery powered, providing a reported seven minutes of ride time on a full charge. The end goal is to have a production version of the Hendo ready by October of 2015, which will cost $10,000. It can be purchased through the company's Kickstarter campaign, though supplies are extremely limited. Additionally, funds collected from the campaign will go toward a specially designed hover park that will host the grand unveiling next year. However, ArxPax sees the Hendo as just one use of its technology, emphasizing another application could be allowing a building to ride out an earthquake. The iconic hoverboard from Back to the Future 2 that started the craze actually actually went up to auction this month, valued at approximately $25,000, which seems a steep price in light of recent events. For more tech news, stay tuned to IGN.